Hey YouTube, in this video I'm back, uh, and today we're going to be doing a follow-up to the video I did on G-Sync Compatible. Uh, so in that video, I gave NVIDIA a very good review because I feel that the that was my first time using G-Sync uh, or Adaptive Sync technology on an NVIDIA platform. Um, that was a GTX 1080 SLI setup, and in that one, turning it on in the driver using an Agon AG24 1QX, best free sync monitor there is using a officially supported compatible monitor that NVIDIA has certified to work with G-Sync as a G-Sync compatible monitor. So now we're going to retest the AMD implementation and take a look at that one and see how it uh, compares. So basically we're going to look at pure free sync, pure free sync. So what we're looking at today is a Vega 64. This specific one is the Sapphire Nitro. It is the best Vega 64, better than the liquid cool one because you don't need to worry about water uh, pumps and all that kind of stuff. It's way easier to install. It comes with a support bracket, triple fan, just like how the Radeon 7 is going to look. Uh, and you can see here, here are the specs. Um, if we look at the sensors currently with FreeSync disabled and all three monitors at 1440p 144Hz. The idle memory clock runs at the maximum value all the time by default, regardless of whether the FreeSync's on or off. Now, I personally don't like that because I just turned this computer on from sleep, so it's cool right now, but if we were to sit here and watch this GPU temperature, it would slowly creep up to like 51, anywhere between 48 and 51 or 52 degrees Celsius. Um, and that's not very good because I don't like the idle temperature. Now, I will say the NVIDIA one did the same thing when you enable G-Sync compatible. The idle clock for the memory runs at max, and then the GPU clock runs at like 1100 megahertz all the time, and it consumes 36 watts. So the NVIDIA one is actually worse compared to the AMD one when it comes to uh, enabling high refresh plus adaptive sync technology. So if we go into the driver here or the Radeon settings... Let's take a look at this here. So what I want to do is I want to turn on FreeSync uh, on, well, in this case, we can do identify all. And it tells me over there that this is monitor one. So that will be my top one. So I'm going to, if I do it and identify yet something one. So I'm going to turn it on. Uh, I can turn it on for all of them. doesn't matter. I mean, the typical user will just turn it on for all of them. If he's got three FreeSync, you can just turn it on all FreeSync. So you can see... It, it, the nice thing is the tooltip here tells you that it is the range is 30 to 144 hertz, so that's very good. So that's and it, it, this monitor does have a low frame rate compensation or LFC. That is a feature supported by this monitor, so it's very good. So it's a pretty premium monitor. Um, so we turn FreeSync on. And the cool thing is FreeSync does work on HDMI as well. So if you if you look here, a uh, nice thing about this is it tells you the media type, the cable type. So here I'm connected on DisplayPort. The second one I'm also connected on DisplayPort. But on my third one, I'm connected on HDMI. And the nice thing about HDMI for AMD is it gives you link assurance and you can enable FreeSync on this monitor, which means this monitor supports FreeSync over HDMI. That is pretty awesome. So, and this graphics card also supports it because this is the Nitro from Sapphire. So, if we, let's go ahead and stay here so we can see the settings easily. So, if we go ahead and move this out of the way, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test the uh, game. Uh, and the other way, the other thing is if we look at the OSD on the monitor, you can see down there, FreeSync is enabled. It tells you right there on the vertical Frequency FreeSync is enabled. Now, one thing that I do not like, I'm going to show right now. This is something that I think AMD is going to have to fix. Is there's no way to truly turn it FreeSync off 100%. Now, what do I mean by that? Because if I go here and I say off, 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 I just turn it off on all three monitors. If I go to any one of these three monitors and I check my OSD, FreeSync is still on. What's up with that? Why is this saying FreeSync is still on? When I turned it off in NVIDIA control panel, NVIDIA turned it off and the monitor said it was at now, it was no longer FreeSync, it was 144 hertz. So, what's up with that? Like, 
Okay, somebody on the driver team needs to look at that. Because it's not supposed to do that. Or I, I don't expect it to do that. And as we're going to see, there's gonna, there's a problem here. Um, but anyway, I'm going to turn it back on. Uh, v, VS, VSR, I'm just going to leave off. I'm not going to scale it up to 4K or anything. GPU scaling, that doesn't really matter for what we're doing because we're not doing any like video playback. And we're not running like an old legacy game that is at a weird aspect ratio like 5x4 or 4x3. So that doesn't really matter. So we're going to leave GPU-Z over here on the other monitor. Alright, so now we're going to test the exact same game that I tested in the previous video. So we're testing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, maximum settings, fully maxed out 1440p at 144Hz. But we've got FreeSync enabled now. So now we're looking at FreeSync. So if we look at it here, I mean it looks almost exactly identical. It plays identical. We check the frame rate. Now, it's not going to give us the exact same result because there might be more people logged in right now at the time of filming this video as opposed to last time, but roughly 70, 73, anywhere from 73 to 85, somewhere around there. That's the typical frame rate that I expect. But that, that doesn't really matter too much because we're running FreeSync, so the whole point is not about the FPS. We're not really doing a benchmark comparison. What we're looking at is the FreeSync capabilities. So FreeSync's on... Uh, I'm trying to figure out, is there a way in here to turn on any sort of visual indicator that tells me that FreeSync is actually running? Uh, looks like there isn't one. So that is that would be something that it would be nice to have. Uh, if AMD could add that, that would be nice. So, But it is on. It's on. The way to tell, again, is on the OSD. The OSD down here on the monitor says FreeSync is enabled, so I trust that. So it's on, and, and I can tell from playing the game that it feels buttery smooth. Now, and we're running it at borderless windowed mode. The other thing too is there's no way to tell if FreeSync, now, reading some articles online, uh, I have concluded that FreeSync does work with borderless windowed mode. Uh, or windowed mode, not just full screen exclusive mode. I could be wrong. Those who actually know, please leave a comment letting me know if, if that's the case or not. Because with G-Sync compatible, you can specify in the in NVIDIA control panel, which is really nice. So it'd be nice to have a similar, like, you know, know for sure, is it actually on when I'm running in borderless windowed mode? Because most people know at this point, borderless windowed mode is... It's becoming more and more common because most people are using multiple monitors now. I think more, as time goes by, there's still a lot of people that aren't single monitor, especially if it's like a 4K monitor, but there's a lot of people out there that are running like dual screen or like me triple screen. Streamers use that setup. It's very common for streamers to have two or three monitors uh, if they're not using like two PCs or something, but it's nice to have. So I think like borderless... Optimizations for borderless full screen is actually very, very important going forward. Um, but exclusive full screen still does give you the full experience. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test YouTube video playback uh, on my other monitor while gaming. And we're going to see what happens. So here I have the game, or I have like the video playing here. This is the Radeon 7, world's first 7 nanometer gaming GPU reveal video zoom out a little bit you guys can see it better so that's on the right side monitor just like in the previous video same exact setup same exact monitors so now I'm gonna start playing the game now I'm gonna start running around and if you look the video is just like almost completely frozen right now if I click onto the video it just like skips ahead it's pause I unpause it now I can't really tell so there I click somewhere to fix it on the timeline now it's playing the video but if, immediately if I go back and start playing the game, it's going to like freeze the video again. And if I check the audio, the audio is still playing. So I can hear the audio. But it's, like I've set it to loop. So if we go back here. So that is a pretty severe bug that doesn't actually exist on G-Sync compatible. So that still needs to be addressed. And this has existed ever since the Windows Spring update of 2018. So basically, uh, 18.03 has this problem. Windows 10 18.03 has this problem. And Windows 18.09 has this problem. It was never resolved. 
uh, and the latest drivers from AMD, everything still has this problem. So, AMD, please look into this problem because this is a severe problem. And now that NVIDIA has taken Adaptive Sync and start implementing it officially, this is, you know, this is a, like a SEV1 issue. This is like a very high priority issue in my book. Alright, so let's look at full screen. So if we full screen it now. So now I've set it to full screen. So now the game's running at full screen. So it has the full frame buffer. Now we're going to unpause the video. So let's look. Okay. So now it works. And that's good to know. Okay. So this is a workaround. So this is a good workaround. But nonetheless, it is a workaround. It's not a fix. So... What we have concluded here is that in order to watch a YouTube video while playing a game that exceeds 60 frames per second on a FreeSync display with FreeSync enabled, you must run your game in exclusive full screen mode, not borderless window mode. Borderless window mode will not work. Uh, that It'll cause a video stutter. So this is something that really needs to be addressed. I cannot keep bringing this up. I don't know why nobody has addressed this. It's a pretty common problem. All right, guys. I'm going to get go ahead and get out of here. FreeSync works, but there is a problem. There's a very severe bug with YouTube video playback. Uh, but there is a workaround. Run your game in full screen exclusive mode, and you, wouldn't, you shouldn't have the problem. Otherwise, if you cap the game's frame rate at 60 FPS, or if you disable FreeSync, you should be able to fix the problem. So two, three, two things need to be I see uh, need to be improved here. One, uh, this bug needs to be fixed. Number two, it would be nice to get a free sync indicator or a way to completely disable free sync 100% so that the monitor actually doesn't say that free sync's on, even though I've disabled free sync in radon settings. So that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys learned something from this video. I uh, want AMD to improve the Radeon user experience because I think that it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with NVIDIA. It just needs a lot of work right now. So, hope you guys found this video insightful. And let me know in the comments what you think. If you use FreeSync or if you use G-Sync, uh, what graphics are you going to be getting. Like I said before, I will be upgrading to the Radeon 7 Day 1. Uh, should be getting that whenever it's available. I'll be buying it straight up. I'll be doing a review on it. I'm going to be using that as my main GPU. Uh, and we'll continue to work toward fixing all these issues, or at least uh, making AMD aware of them again and again and again until they are finally addressed. So, hope you guys liked the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.